And we are live. Welcome back to Green Hell or PC VR. We are going to continue our survival run and tonight I thought we'd try to do some metal crafting. Keep an eye on the chat, we're still getting spun up. So let's load into our last save which was, I believe, day five. There we go. Hey, ravioli guy. And move. So as I recall, we were watching the sunset on a beach just north of our camp at the fishing village. Hey, Blix. Ooh, there's our loading screen. Let me know if there's any issues with the audio or video as we get going here. There's our sunset and no caimans. So let's head back to camp. Hey, Christy. We'll keep an eye out for predators as always. but it's been pretty good, knock on wood, around our camp here, predator-wise, but I wanna be careful, especially in the dark. No issues, great. Um, I wanna try to find my arrow today as well, which I think is gonna be over here somewhere. I fired two arrows at a bird up on this rock, and um, we lost one. So we'll look for that. And I don't know why my fishing pole's on the ground, but put that over our shoulder. We've got some wood laying around, unknown mushroom. Uh, we've got some of our bowls laid out. We've got some charcoal here in the existing fire pit. So let's put that over here. Uh, what time is it? We still have some time to get some things done tonight. Our stats are good. Could use some fats. Thanks, appreciate the uh, super chat. Blix, best YouTuber. I don't know about that, but definitely appreciated. Uh, how's our fire doing? Our fire has lots of life left on it. So, I thought we'd try to do some metal crafting. I've done a little bit of research. So, we need some mud to start. Um, so we see the trigger toggles water mud. So now we're into river mud. So if I grab, I get big slab of mud and we get some, uh, recipes added to our notebook. So if we throw the mud down, it's just going to disappear. But now we can open up our notebook and we should have bunch of mud stuff somewhere. I always forget which section it's in. There we go. Mud mixer. So we want that. I always forget that when I let go of the trigger, the notebook disappears and whatever we were crafting or, or building in this case disappears. So we're going to put our mud mixer over here and we'll start building that. Try to build it kind of close to... No! One trigger rotates, the other trigger places. So I had it in a good spot and then it rotated. There we go. Okay, so we need four sticks and a whole bunch of logs. So let's go, uh, ooh, butterfly in the face. Let's go uh, chop down some trees. Uh, we'll get some, some rope too. Uh, just make sure our bow is handy. Okay, there's some sticks. They're not the sticks that we need. We need, well, there's a raffa nut. I just dropped my ax. No, I didn't. It was in my hand. Weird. I swear, I can't tell if there's a bird making noise in the game or IRL here. Okay, so there's a log we're gonna need and we just tied it together to another log. Okay, I'm going to shoulder the bow 
We do have armor. We're going to need these logs. Uh, but we still need sticks. I don't want to bang these around too much because when you bang the uh, items around, then they end up breaking down. And we actually need the... This is how you get the furnace. Yeah, I'm uh, working towards the furnace. I'll be working towards the forge. Um, but both of those start with the uh, mud mixing pit, which allows you to make mud bricks. And then with those mud bricks, uh, we make those other two items. But I'm trying to do some of the uh, tree cutting in advance because we do need a fair number of logs and sticks and things. So, and we need to keep our fire going too. I was gonna make a stone ring So that our fire lasts longer. Okay, was there another log out of this tree? Can't quite see where they land sometimes. Let's go back to our stack over here. So I can hold this log towards that stack and just hold the trigger and now we've got a stack of three logs. I should have the four sticks over my shoulder by now but we will need more logs I believe there's another log so and there's a long stick so we'll take all this back so let me get back to camp then I'll uh, be able to read more chats because I'll feel safe um, don't bang around all right yeah realistic they say carrying four logs All right, hopefully no predators rush up behind us while we're log lugging. There we go. Okay. <laughs> well, both the streams and the videos are human, but I understand your point. I could swear that I picked up more than two sticks. Um, maybe they were all small sticks, but we don't have to go back because, oh, we do have to go back. Um, but we left the stack of uh, long sticks anyways that we have to go back for. I promise there's there's not going to be a huge amount of uh, gathering here. Now i got to find where I cut it down. So one was here. There's another stick. And I guess the other one was up there up there. Am I getting lost already? That's ridiculous. I mean the stump should still be around. We'll come back for those long sticks. Just have to find the other tree stump. That's one. It is around here because the other tree stumps over there. Okay there they are. Alright. Don't you break here we go. We got our social distancing stick. Kinda, kinda janky. Whoa! It was raring to go. <laughs> I can't look at your profile at the moment, but I'll check it out after the stream. Um, so now we're doing logs. There's a log. What time is it? Hopefully we'll still have enough time to sleep. Okay. We actually need more logs. Sounds like a Tolkien monster. More logs. Okay. Let's get that over here. So we need four more, which is just uh, one more trip. I want to get this going because it takes time. Hey, Amber. Hey, Nathan. Thanks, I appreciate the uh, positive feedback. What time is it now? Okay, we still got time to get this going tonight and then we should have some some uh, mud bricks in the morning. Somehow I lost my, my ax. Anybody seen an ax? There it is. A lot of times when you're going to grab something off the ground, you'll 
you'll grab an item from your holster. I also want to feed the fire before I go to sleep so that it's still running when we wake up. Still lit, I should say. Is the fire, is the fire still running? Okay, so log one, log two, log three, and log four is down here. Okay, so we've got our four logs. We did. It's really bad when that happens, when you get caught on terrain because it can despawn. And I think those two logs just just despawned or they um, rocketed out of existence because they got caught on something. So, okay, let's put those down there. Oh, there it is. Great. There, I just dropped my, my bone knife again. So I grabbed it out of my holster. There it is. Not the most dexterous today. Hopefully these won't break when they're tied up like this. I think maybe that's one of the mechanics of uh, bundling supplies like this, is that you might not have to worry about breaking them. Okay, it's getting it's getting late though. We got to get this done, get some sleep, and hopefully we can get our furnace built in the morning. Okay, let's just make sure the fire is not going to go out. We have sticks. Only two, a lot of small sticks. I could swear that I picked up more sticks. They Sometimes they just won't go in the pack. We're going to have to get more sticks, but we can maybe use these long ones. So this is our um, mud pit for playing in the mud. I think you can use it for gathering water too. So we want mud. Wait till it touches your hand, then you're good to take it away. It can be tricky to trigger the green I found on these... Uh, mud mixing we'll see if we can find where the oh I saw it there there we go okay one more yeah there's a quest version and a PC VR version so maybe that's where that confusion is but for PC VR it's just like any other Steam game so we need some ash for our pit so you can do that by wailing on some coal then you end up with some ash now that's ready to go when it rains it'll make us uh, a nice muddy slurry uh, we still need to collect some sticks for the fire and while we're at it, let's see if we can find our lost arrow while we go collecting sticks. There's a stick. There's a long stick, which we can take back. I gotta try not to get... I will have banana while we're here. Try not to get too complacent. Because, uh, you know, there are still predators in the game and if I don't find my arrow is that no quickly then we're gonna go back and we'll oh there it is sweet okay because they were tribal arrows nobody's chasing me and uh, tribal arrows do more damage than crafted arrows Yes, you can pour water on the mud mixer, but I'd rather keep the water to drink. I mean, it rains often enough. Okay. Then once we get our 
furnace built. We may take a day trip. We'll see. We'll see how it works out. All right. It is late. Oh, there's the rain. Perfect. So we're going to get some sleep. Oh, just skipped right by it. Easy there, fella. Okay, let's try this again. There we go. 12. Okay, we're not going to wait till 12. We got things to do. There's an armadillo. And we are currently using armadillo armor. It's not facing us, though. I want to get a headshot, otherwise I'll have to track it. Is that a coconut? That didn't hit. That is a coconut. Good. I wanted a coconut. Okay, forget the armadillo. Let's uh, stand back up. We'll get the coconut. Yeah, I know. You get to live for a little longer. Ooh, I didn't notice that fish trap. We'll go check that out. But first, let's... Uh, I think our mud's done, if it rained. We're going to turn this into a bee dawn because I don't have one yet. Uh, so let's put that down for a second. And notebook. Crafting table. Bee dawn's a canteen for those of you. Actually, we can, we can drink it first. Who aren't familiar with the term or this game. And we are dirty. So let's put that there for later. Okay. So now <laughs> to, to get on with our mud mixer, we got to mix the mud. And wappy slappy, we got some mud bricks. I don't know what that was. Okay, so now we're going to build a furnace if I can find... Okay. It's it's a strange arrangement in the book for me. It's kind of arranged by purpose, fire, water. Okay, we don't have... Okay, maybe I have to pick up a mud brick first. Yeah, there we go. So picking things up kind of gives you some of their... Uh, crafting recipes how are we doing for sticks pretty good we don't have any here oh we do so now we should have the recipe for the furnace and that's going to give us charcoal is this where it was no campfire there we go mud charcoal furnace and we want to fill back up our mud mixer. Um, so let's do this quickly and then we'll fill it back up and we'll get it making some more mud bricks. Okay, and then we'll take these two extras. We'll just throw them over here on the ground. And we'll grab some more mud. That's dirty water. I don't want the dirty water. River mud. That's what I want. That's what I'm here for. River mud. River mud. It has to be low enough to trigger the grab. Yeah, it could be. Might be a bot. Sorry, fellas, I don't have any mods yet, so we'll just have to uh, deal with the horrors of the internet for now. Okay, so now that this is built, let's have some water while we're in the rain. Um, we gotta get a lot of sticks to get the furnace going. And the other thing, let's see if we actually have it yet. We do have our mud forge plan. So let's, uh, okay, 
get that kind of turned forward here. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's put that there. So we need long sticks for that, which we have over here. Just do one at a time. Yeah, I don't know why they turn red like that. Like, you can't put that stick in that one stick slot. It has to go in the other stick slot. Not, not sure about that. Okay, we got to go find more long sticks. So we're going to have to go a little further down the beach here to find some more trees. I like looking on the beach rather than inland because we have uh, better visibility. That tree should give us some long sticks. The, um, oh, there's one right there. Okay. That just hit us on the head. That one's kind of clipped into the tree, so I didn't want to... All right, so that's two. Should be another one here. We'll take these for the fire. I'm trying to make sure that they actually go in the pack. I think we can do three. We can do three. And I think we actually need more than that. I see another little tree up there. So let's uh, move forward a bit. Oh, there's another long... Oh, two. That should be enough. Okay. We must have cut down another tree here before. Gotta keep a lookout, keep listening. It's ten? Ten's the max. Okay, so let's take this and this and do a little sprinting. We need some more sleep. We'll uh, see if we can eat for some energy. Okay, so let's bring these up here. Nope. That'll do if I can... Okay. Let's get our bone knife back. That's just a bird over there. Okay. Come on. Green is the color that we want. There we go. All right, so now we just need some more of our mud bricks. And then we can use the rest of these long sticks to uh, feed the furnace. Okay, so that's good. What's going on with the mud? Oh, it's ready. Okay. That rain did us right. Back and forth. Doing the two-step with the forge. Okay. Okay. Two more. Can I carry two of these? Two of these bad boys. I find that phrase <laughs> ridiculous most of the time. These are not boys, and I don't know what makes them bad. Come on. Hi. A little further back. Yeah, this part's kind of kind of janky. I don't want to step in the fire trying to get this this brick in, but these are not turning green. There we go. Just have to get the perfect height, I guess. A little higher? No. Oh! There we go. So that just needs charcoal, and that's what we're going to get from our furnace. So we'll get that going. When did I start YouTube? A long, long time ago. But um, then I kind of went on pause. I don't know the effects of this particular one, so I'm not going to eat that. But I wouldn't mind some of the little blue ones. Because they give us energy. 
So it takes a lot of wood to get the furnace going. Not quite. Oh, thankfully I keep seemingly spilling those, but I don't think they actually spill. Somebody let me know if that's not the case, but I've found that they don't seem to spill. Yeah, if you look at my channel, you know, the the videos start about a year ago, but that's because I uh, blanked it and kind of restarted things um, with the focus on, on VR. Oh yeah, I have sticks over my shoulder and my pack. That's That's what I was thinking of. I don't think I need more mud bricks at the moment. That's why I'm not taking those out of the pit just now. Yeah, you can see a whole lot of sticks going on in there. Are we going to have enough? Looks like maybe. All right. So that's ready to go. We just have to put a mud brick on the front. And I am going to drop a save just in case anything glitches out. All right. There you go. Somebody somebody found the data. Okay, so we want the bird's nest in there. And then we actually picked up some flint from a cave. So we can we can spark it up. Oh, that used a lot of energy, oddly enough. Carrying logs around, not such a big deal, but if you want to hit, you know, some flint against an axe, then then you're in trouble. Yeah, we need to sleep because we spent too much time last night and it's noon, so it's kind of a waste. Maybe we'll just sleep a little bit. Get some energy. Let's do that. See where we're at. And uh, can start getting some other things in order. So it's about a quarter done. So that'll probably go into tomorrow. Our fire is almost out. We don't want that going out. So let's go uh, harvest another tree. That was a relatively large one. Let's get the long sticks and then we'll break them down. Okay. I mean, we could spend a bunch of time putting sticks over our shoulder, but let's just go with this for now. This this camp, this location has pretty much everything you need. And I'll show you in a second. Maybe they all do, to be honest. These established camps, easy, easy. Okay, let's get our fire topped up. I mean, we got the fish. We just go up that hill. There's some mammals. There's a caiman down on the point if we want it. Let's do we have a leech? I guess we do. It's telling me I got to investigate. And when it tells you that, best listen. Okay. Oh, there's one. Okay, let's take that off. Two. Come on. It'd be difficult to get the exact spot for these leeches. Okay, is that it? Fire is almost back to full. Okay, 
That's up to full. What are our stats like? We could use some nourishment. So let's... Oh. So that's what happens when you miss the slot to put the bowl in. And I think I just lost the coconut bowl too. I just threw the bowl of water on the fire basically with that um, <laughs> misclick. But I thought it was green. All right. We'll get more dry leaves. I have to remember to refresh those. Flint. Get that going again. But I think we did lose a bowl in that uh, ordeal. We got lots though. Okay. So yeah, so you see how it flicks between green and white? If you do it on the white, then you're putting your fire out potentially. Okay. So let's throw a bone in there. I don't think we have any meat to cook at the moment. So we'll do some bone broth. Let's eat this raffa nut. Always check. Even if you're quite sure that um, things aren't spoiled, you should look at the uh, look at the info because the consequences are are dire. All right, make sure it's green for a little second before we go ahead and drop it. And there we go. So now we got some bone infusion. And put that back there. All right. And we'll put these back out in the rain. Could use some carbs. Yeah, well, the PCBR and Quest were made by different teams. So that would explain why they're substantially different. Okay, we're dirty, but that's fine. We may have an early night tonight. Let's go find some bananas because we still have to wait for this. It's halfway now. We may wake up early and um, take a little trip, see if we can get to the Jeep and back and then continue the, uh, the metal crafting. Okay, pretty sure I saw some bananas around here. Don't want to keep my head down too long. Let's uh, get these dry leaves. That's a normal palm leaf. Where's a dry leaf? There we go. You want to stay stocked. You don't want to use up your last of something and then not replenish it because then guaranteed you're going to get caught wanting it. Maybe even in a pinch. Um, I'm not seeing any bananas. Should we go catch the, the sunset again and then turn in? We can deal with lack of carbs. We should come across some bananas before long. Now there was a caiman my bow didn't go over the right shoulder. Okay. What was it caiman over here? Oh, it's kind of the same. That actually looked like a caiman's jaw right there for a second. It's not raining, but the sunset's kind of the same. How do I know a lot about the jungle? I wonder if we can get up there. That's for another day. Well, I've played through the Quest version, and I've played through the PC VR version, and uh, I don't know. 
done some camping, not in a jungle. <laughs> but I don't think that factors in. Once you spend, uh, you know, some time in the game, you get an idea for what you can eat. And, and once you get a camp established like this, then it's just routine. And a lot of it is, is ritual if you want to stay healthy and safe. You know, you got to... I shouldn't be eating because I'm, I'm, my hands are dirty, but big stone. Um, let's let's bring it anyway. You know, stoking the fire in the morning so that it's it's still going when you wake up. You know, replenishing your tobacco and those types of emergency medical things when you use them, and not not putting it aside. Addressing any injuries as fast as possible. Because it's it's small things like that that um, can really cost you your your life in this game. All right, three ten. That's fine. Get our sleep cycle somewhat back to normal. What's our stats like? Okay, so our furnace is done, which means we can start the next step. I wasn't expecting it to be done so quickly. We still need carbs, but we'll wait till it's fully light out. Uh, as I was saying, feeding the fire. So you can see that it's... Can I not grab a stick? There we go. It's almost out. And if we had just gone to do something else, then we would have had to have rebuilt the fire. And then if... Uh, if something had happened and we needed to come back for some some water, right? We would have to boil water if we got in trouble, if we got a fever or something and it really affected our hydration. We'd have to boil the water, which means you need a fire. And um, if you don't have one going, that's just another task. Maybe you have to go collect sticks. Uh, but having the fire going means we can drink all that water right there from the rain. And if it's not raining, we can just scoop some out of there, put it by the fire, drink that and uh, pretty much unlimited hydration at that point once you kind of stabilized yourself. All right, the next step. How's our fire doing there? Okay, we'll get back to that once we get, um, get this going. Okay, so we just took the door off of the furnace. Now we're gonna get this going, which is down there, empty can or iron ore, and up there, charcoal. So we're going to take charcoal out of here and put it in there. You see, we got to get that going all the way around. It seems like a lot of charcoal in that furnace right now, but it really isn't. We're going to go through it pretty quickly here. Okay, so that's ready to go. Needs an ember. Here's a, a can we'll probably use later. There's a couple cans. Keep an eye on our fire. So this part I don't like. Maybe it's true to life, but yeah, after the moon goes down and the sun hasn't risen, it's really dark. But we got our fire, so we'll just stay close by. Okay, so ember. We're going to get some of the dry leaves we just picked up, and we should be able to put that in. No, where's the slot? That looks like it's full. Maybe I'll put one more piece of coal in. No, that's full. Okay. Let's reevaluate. I'm putting my coal down here. Okay. Yeah, we can we can put in the uh, empty can, but yeah, there is a slot for a dry leaf. I just I didn't trigger it, I guess. There, okay. 
we've got the dry leaves in there. Now we can grab our flint and our axe. You can use a stone or something. Get a bit closer, we'll crouch down. And that is lit. Okay, so while that's going, let's take the rest of our coal out and we'll put it over here. And if we can get this started again, we'll do that. So there's some ash. We could make some more bricks. It's going to rain. Okay, so that's ready to go again. No, still has some ash. Charcoal. Sorry that it's so dark. Sun's coming up now. Over there, I think. Okay, so that's ready to use again. This, you can see that our can is slowly melting. It's about... Oh, that's weird. Almost a quarter done. The charcoal is going down. We can we can feed more charcoal in right now. But uh, let's get our fire fed. Got to take another tree. I don't know the frequency at which these uh, trees regrow, but I've heard that they do. Okay, we got one down up there. There's another one right there we can we can hit. Got some sticks already on the ground. I'm trying to listen for anything out of the ordinary. That's your cue to stop what you're doing and get a weapon out. If you don't have it, is um, you know, don't think to yourself, huh? What was that? While you're working, you know, if you hear a sound, you should uh, drop what you have and, and pull out your weapon because chances are it's a it's a predator. That is, if you don't recognize the sound, you know, because the the pigs and stuff you hear all the time, and the tapers and the capybaras. Lost my axe. Is it going to go out? No, we got time. So now I got to go back for my axe because it didn't slot. Let's just make sure that this is doing all right. This, we got lots of charcoal. That's about halfway. So now we got to fumble around for our axe. Take it easy, Arctic Wolf. Thanks for stopping by. Dang it, where was that tree we just cut down? Right, right here. There's our axe. Yeah, they're going to be uh, working on, on multiplayer. Um, I would think right now they're still stabilizing single player, trying to optimize the performance, work out some bugs of which there are, uh, you know, there's a few. But a lot of players don't realize the, the depth of the game, especially if you've looked at the uh, quest version. Okay, it's getting there. Let's, uh, let's put that on the fire. Put that on the fire. <sighs> Chad, thanks for the super chat. So let's do some uh, let's do some hunting while we wait or fishing. What should we do? We could hunt uh, a bird. We could go. Try to hunt a mammal, or we could do some fishing. We'll get some get some uh, meat in those bowls while we wait for our 
forge to spin up. Let's uh, let's go do some fishing. There's um, some nice fish over here. Some uh, some sort of bass. Maybe maybe there's some arowana as well. I mean, we could make some mushroom soup. Really, there's so many things, but those fish look pretty good. So let's get our rod out. Get some maggots on the hook. Come on. All right. Just uh, have a look around so we don't get jacked. And we'll just uh, wait on in here. There's no piranhas. They don't seem interested. Is it because I'm in the water? Oh, that one's coming over. Do predators come in the water? Other than caiman? I think... Let's, uh... Oh. You looking at it, friend? Oh, no. This one, this one. No? Maggots ain't your thing. Okay, let's uh... I haven't actually fished this deep in the water. I mean, I don't want to spend all day in the water. Usually they're pretty receptive. Oh, now you're all over there where I used to have it? There. Okay. This doesn't seem to be a very good spot. Let's go down down a bit. Oh, now we got leeches. Okay. Thought I heard something. I wonder if we can just run in the water. That'd be fun. So these ones are a little closer to shore. Oh yeah. Gotcha. A few uh a few loop the loops there. And come on off. Okay, make sure that fishing rod's stored. Thanks for Brazio. Hopefully I pronounce that right. Could be Fabrizio, I suppose. A raffin nut, but we got, I think we've got dirty hands. Actually, we're not that bad, but we've got a leech somewhere. I want to get back to camp before I investigate the leech. Yeah, man, we can fish. Look at this. I got proof here. You can spear fish. You can, I wonder, I think you can bow fish. Uh, but yeah, you can craft a fishing rod and fish. And then I'm going to harvest this fish and make some uh, chow there. And then there's some fish bones um, that you can use for digging worms out of your flesh. How are we doing here? We are done. The iron ore is smelted. Is that the word? Uh, we have some iron with which to craft. Let's just find that leech. There's one. There's two. They seem to come in pairs. Ah. So now what we want to do, since we have our melted can, or melted iron ore, we'll put that over here. And we're going to grab one of our mud bricks here. And we're going to harvest the mud brick. now. Harvesting in this game at least means uh, hit it with something and Harvesting quote-unquote the mud brick gives us a bunch of these uh, form blanks so uh, a blank mold Right, so what we're gonna do is 
I'm going to drop a save because it's been a while. And I don't want to crash to derail our good progress. Um, so we've got a crafting table and we actually need something else. We're going to start with a, a metal axe head is what we're going to craft. So we want an axe to create the mold from. So this stone axe will be our form. So we're going to put that there. We're going to put the melted iron ore from a single empty can. And we're going to put the empty form. And this is an axe mold. Right? So now we are going to put the axe mold back in the furnace. And we're going to get some more coal to make sure the furnace stays lit while that uh, iron ore is melted again into the form. And then we'll have a metal axe head. That should be enough. I'm not going to overdo it. Yeah, I guess there wasn't really time to get to the Jeep and back. I thought if the day-night cycle lined up well enough... Oh, we need some carbs and some water. If the day-night cycle lined up well enough, then uh, we would be able to... You know, wake up and head over to the Jeep and spend a day there, or a day getting there and back. And by the time we got back, like, the furnace would, would be done, but it didn't quite line up that way. Yeah, a lot of people say they, they like the quest crafting better. So, it's not raining. Hey, there's an old uh, macadamia nut shell. So, since it's not raining, we'll just scoop some water and put the fire out. <laughs> that really annoys me, but it is what it is. Okay. And did we lose that coconut bowl, too? Right. I'm going to have to watch the replay to see uh, to see if I saw the green before I dropped that. Because I'm pretty sure I wouldn't drop it unless I saw the green. Um, I can put Tinder in. I can get it going again. So let's do that. And that and this. And we're going to have to put some more sticks in there. But that's fine. And what was I doing? That's right. I was trying to get some water and and boil it and we need carbs so the best thing for carbs is a cassava bulb but I think I um, cut down that tree already but let's go look for some carbs while we wait that's a fish bone that should be good how's this doing almost done that's running. Yeah, we need some carbs. So let's go find some carbs. By the time we get back, I think the axe head should be uh, should be done. Take it easy, bud. So what I was going to say about the um, quest crafting kind of mechanics versus the PC VR mechanics is that the number of items that you can craft on the quest is an order of magnitude less than the number of items you can craft on PC VR. So on Quest, like to craft everything, you need to learn a handful of mechanics and, and that's tricky, um, you know, for some players as it is. Um, if you were to try to add the number of different mechanics that you would need to craft all of the items available on the uh, PC VR version, not only would that be a really big dev task, but then as a player, you'd constantly be trying to figure out what do I wrap around what to do what. So that got our carbs up. And I think our axe should be done by now. Actually, I got a bad feeling, so I'm going to keep my bow out. Monsterosa fruit. 
I'm not familiar with that uh, that name. Are those the uh, the long green ones? So you need a fire plow if you don't have flint. You don't start with flint in the PC VR version, and you can't make flint by just banging rocks together like you can in the uh, quest version. You have to find flint in a cave. You have to find it a vein in the wall, and then you gotta mine the flint out of the wall, and then you end up with flint. Uh, the fire plow is what you use until you find flint. So we're gonna make that into some bone broth. And here our ax mold is done. So what we do with this is, uh, we'll put that over there, is we harvest it, but we're just gonna break the uh, form out of the mold and there, there is our metal ax head that we've labored so hard for, All right? So if we take this and uh, let's get our, don't want to lose it. Get our crafting table out. We'll put that on the table, get ourselves a stick. Do I have some sticks? I have one and some rope. And we've crafted a metal ax. So that's how long it takes to, uh, you know, build the mud mixer, build the furnace, build the forge to be able to make a uh, metal ax. You can make a metal spear. You can make a metal uh, bone blade, not a metal bone blade, but if you were to, uh, take a stone blade and use that to create the mold, then you would end up creating a, uh, a metal knife, a metal blade. And you can even make metal armor by using, I think, sticks to make the mold and then use the sticks to craft what would have been stick armor, but it's metal armor because you've created those. It grows with the biggest flower in the game. Is it a like a large kind of bush, shrubbery? Uh, or is it one of the small things like the, uh, oh, the largest flower, that, that big white thing? Yeah, there's one of those around here. Is that what you mean? Kind of looks like an orchid. Bone infusion. Put this back out in the rain. And I think I've got more bowls, so... Get some more rainwater collecting. And there you have it. Now that we've uh, created the, the metal axe, shown you how to create the structures and supplies that you need to create these items. I think I'm gonna call it a day and uh, we'll pick it up on the next stream. Got to get that bone soup. Yeah, man, bone broth. Thanks, everybody, for stopping by. Thanks for the super chats. Appreciate all the feedback, both positive and negative. Yeah, Flint, you got to find in a cave. I mentioned that. I have an accent. Yes, I am Canadian. Been called out. Yeah. Have a good night everybody or day as your time zone allows thanks again for stopping by and we'll uh, catch you next time